Hi friends, welcome to our channel Educe X. I am your Greena here. Today, let's learn about the best method for purifying water. One, boiling. Normally, in our houses, water is purified by boiling. Boiling can be done at least for fifteen minutes to kill all pathogens, viruses, spores, cysts, etc., to yield sterilized water. Boiling also removes temporary hardness in water, but boiling cannot be done in large scale. Also, it offers no residual protection against subsequent microbial contamination. Two, chlorination. Chlorination is yet another method being widely used. Chlorine tablets serve as good disinfectants. A single tablet of 0.5 gram is sufficient to disinfect 20 liters of water. But free residual chlorine present in the water must be checked and maintained within limits. That is, the free residual chlorine in treated water should not exceed 0.5 milligram per liter. Number three, iodination. Two drops of alcoholic iodine is sufficient to disinfect one liter of water. This is another method of disinfecting, but the problem is. Its physiological activity over thyroid gland restricts its use. Number four, treatment with potassium permanganate. Treatment with potassium permanganate kills the Vibrio cholerae, but not other pathogens. The change in color, smell, and taste of the permanganate-treated water makes people reluctant to consume. Number five, filtering through porcelain candles. Candles made up of porcelain or ceramics can also be used to filter water, but these filters get clogged up with impurities, bacteria, and viruses. At times, it is found that hepatitis A virus and polio virus can pass through this ceramic filtered candle candles. Number six, by passing UV rays. Passing UV rays can also treat the microorganism in water. But the process is expensive. Color and turbidity of the water to be treated interferes with the disinfection potential of UV rays. So, number seven, ozonation. O ozonation of water is the best method of water purification and has strong virucidal effect. It inactivates viruses in a matter of seconds. Ozone has no residual germicidal effect. Chlorination shows some residual effect. Therefore, combined treatment of ozone and chlorine effectively sterilizes water. 0.2 to 1.5 milligram of ozone is sufficient to sterilize one liter of water. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.